appear to me? Casey Jones. One of the key characters in the Ninja Turtle universe has always been Casey Jones. His first appearance in the comics came really early on, a Raphael one-shot that he was the guest star in. And he was a huge part of that franchise ever since then. The design process for Casey Jones was pretty involved. Our version would be starting off our relationship with him a little bit younger as a teenager. And what we really wanted to do was make sure that his attitude came across right. Casey Jones. It's hard to say how you're gonna make this likable character because he's always been very hardcore. So it was really important for us to find this evolution and to not have him come right out of the gate wearing his mask and all of his pads. We played with the idea of him being just a high school goofball that April meets. She kind of finds in him a strange friendship that she would have never expected otherwise. Of course, this all drives Donatello crazy. And then the second time we come upon Casey, he's that same kid, but we see him at hockey practice. He has to encounter all these ninjas, and he does well because he's in his own element on the ice. The third time we meet Casey, it's time for him to don the mask. Enough's been enough. Who's this clown? <laughs> I'm the last guy you see before you wake up in the hospital. He's ready to have given himself his persona of who he wants to be on the streets, this super vigilante type character. Got it. He's this kid without too many resources and that he would have to kind of cobble together this almost homemade super vigilante costume himself. He is a proficient skater, which translates onto the streets with his own homemade inline skates. And being that he is on the varsity hockey team, he has access to all kinds of hockey equipment. The most iconic thing about him has always been his mask. In the comics, it was drawn one way, but that doesn't quite translate into CG. We thought it would be interesting if we actually took an existing 70s hockey goaltending mask. What we ended up doing was creating a paint job that was an homage to the original Eastman and Lair design from the comics. We're so used to seeing the turtles handle themselves well, but to have their fifth partner being a human kid who just can really dish out some butt kicking is gonna be just fun to watch. Look out, Crank. Ah!